fires the three, and Crawford gets it to go on the assist from Stevenson. 16 points for Crawford. Second three-pointer of the half, of course, overall. So he's having a nice game from outside. Cole's shot is good. He's been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. It's a great formula. And it's really a sign that the offense is clicking. There's Crawford with the three. Crawford missing again. Pelicans trail by 17. And the call goes against Wesley Johnson. That's foul number two for him. And Holiday kicks to Evans. Anderson outside. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Seven seconds left in the third quarter. Holiday attacking. Uses the glass to pump it in. Holiday's got 18 points in the game. How huge has he been giving his team the lift? Without his work offensively, Steve, I don't know where they'd be. Shooting at great efficiency. Uh, I don't think they'd have a chance without him. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Clippers. Tune in Friday, December 12th. LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers go up against Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans. Live from New Orleans. You don't want to miss it. State Farm assist to the game replay. Great offensive play. One of eight assists on the night that we've seen from Chris Paul. And you got to love that play, guys. But it's been one after another for him all game long. He just has that uncanny awareness of where his teammates are on the court all the time. Clippers leading by 15. And Stevenson is out there with Chris. And it's Chris Paul. Then there's Glenn Davis. And it's Miller in at the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Paul against Hallett. Paul kicks to Pierce. Back to Paul. Clippers moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Miller the pass to Davis. It's a big night. Hansen goes in. Davis has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Clippers. And Holiday kicks to Evans. Back to Holiday. Evans against Pierce. Evans dishes to Holiday from 11 feet away. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basketball. It's happening their way down low. This New Orleans team is, is now in their second season as the Pelicans. The name, is a subject to some critique early on, has actually turned out to be nice for the franchise with a new group of players, new ownership, and it fits nicely into creating a new identity. Griffin's checked in for Davis. Kicks it out to Gordon. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. That's seven points for Eric Gordon. That's a two from Paul. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. We talked about the Pelican mascot. Steve Wingspan, a term that definitely applies to this team and the young Anthony Davis. Yeah, it's a great name. You know, Davis was last year's leading shot blocker to go with 20 points and 10 boards a game. I mean, this guy is a potential superstar and obviously the key for this club moving forward. Here's Jordan, and it's blocked by Gordon. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Tries again. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And what a game for Miller. 22 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now, his outside stroke has looked really good today. Well, you often think of the Clippers as being an updated version of Showtime. They know how to grind it out and get a win. Yeah, I thought they were a little better defensively. They have guys that will certainly give you highlight reel material. Um, but they're smart in how they attack teams and how they finish games, too. Here's Evans. 
has been in on the layup. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. And it's really going to be a little hard to pass in this play. Well, just to add another fantastic assist to the highlight reel for these guys. Pelicans to the 19. Foul call that time on the layup. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Covers, I think a big part of how they can find out a win, if need be, is that they know how to get to the free throw line. Well, one way or another, the Clippers, as you said, they'll find ways to score points, even if it means selling a call or two. They do what you need to do to get wins, and most players are open to that. That's his second three-point of the half, and his third overall. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Evans kicks to Gordon. Evans passes to Gordon. Pocket six. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Gordon's got four points in the quarter. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Griffin can't get it to go in. And the fadeaway was about his only option there. Really good defensive position. And stolen by Jordan. Paul against Howard. Griffin sets the screen for Paul. It's stolen by Davis. And pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. And Evans the basket on the assist by Holiday. Eight points for Tyreek Evans. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. Miller no good on the free throw. Well, the Pelicans last season tried to make a push for the playoffs, but a slew of injuries really held him back. But even at full strength, Kevin, this team was fighting for the eighth seed. Still young and developing. You've got to give this group time to grow because I think they've got some nice pieces. Here's Evans. Davis with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Good. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guy. This guy's really flowing with his stroke right now. He hit one earlier, and now he has three in this half. Evans dishes to Holiday. Pass to Davis. Let's it go from the wing. Cannot hit. Excellent D there from Pierce. Clippers leading by 19. Outside Griffin. Fade away. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And the basket by Gordon. The defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Clippers have gone 6 of 11 since the start. Of the fourth quarter. And it's Miller with the jam. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And I love how he goes with that one-hand tomahawk slam. Beautiful. I might call here the Pelicans decide to talk it over. Well, Chris Paul breaking Magic Johnson's record last season with 13 double-doubles to start the season. That's points and assists. We're talking about you know, anytime you're mentioned in the same breath as a Hall of Famer, that's a pretty good thing. Outside, Davis. Out to the right wing. And Sanders kicks to Evans. And he banks in the lane. Evans has got six points in the quarter. Well, sometimes when you're at a height disadvantage, that's the way to attack. Go right at your defender. And Chris Paul finishing last season as the NBA's leader in assists per game. His third time achieving that mark. Yeah, and he's been in the top five in that category pretty much since he came into the league. You won't find any better than Chris Paul as a point now a starter for his whole career. Tyreek Evans spent most of last season caught as a six man at the back. Yeah, you know, Kevin, they envisioned him in a bit of a Manu Ginobili role. Right, it's going in for making off the bench, but after they were hit with some injuries, he excelled in the starting role. And Evans, a player who makes some sense as a bench scorer, he's best with the ball in his hands, attacking off the dribble. And he gets it to go. And it 
example right there, guys, of how even as their lead grew into a big one, they never started coasting. That's the truth. I mean, they've been in charge of this game all the way through. And this is what they wanted, uh, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. And I think it can be considered a statement win for the Clippers. You know, Clark, when you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. So you said it all there, Kevin. They were lethal from behind the arc. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And once it becomes official, this win will give them a nice boost down the road when they face this club again in the second and third games of the season series. Yeah, predictably, the stats tell us that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for Jay. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really, to stop him. And that one's good by Stevenson. And for Evans last season, the shooting was down, but he improved his rebounding and his assist. He was really working to develop his jump shot. And I know how much that would really enhance his game if he can get it to be more consistent. Well, you know, every time these two teams face off, it is battle Los Angeles. For so long, the Lakers have really owned the city. But the Clippers looking to make up for lost time right now. And the Clippers making a change here. Crawford's checked in. Six on the shot clock. Johnson goes in from deep three-point range, and Crawford gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. Boy, they're extending their lead. It kind of feels like they're just piling on here as we come to an end. Well, hey, let's just call it what it is. They are trying to run it up on them. Pondexter kicks to Cole. And the Pelicans miss again. Not the best shot. Long range and with a defender right in his face. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves to lock you up. They certainly haven't let these fans down tonight. You know, fun night to be in the building. It has been. I mean, the atmosphere has been great. And no doubt, that helped with the winning effort. So the Clippers winning this one easily. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sidelines. Doris? Kevin, thank you. Chris, how important are the fans to this team right now? You guys just seem to gather so much energy from their energy. The fans have been unbelievable, and we're going to need this all season long. You know, the Clippers fans really pulled us through in this one, and uh, we're going to need them again next game. Chris, you give them plenty to cheer about. Thank you. Kevin, back to you. Doris, thank you. And for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us as Jordan presents our player of the game, James.